currently on the way to uh, Boston, waiting for Astrid, TSA stuff. Oh, it's super duper early in the morning. 4.46, bright and early. Here comes Astrid. She's tired, we're both tired. Woke up at 2.45 a.m. today. <sighs> It's a wild Giovanni. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey! This is a this is a child-friendly channel. guys finally made it to the house long trip oh not really it was a three hour trip but nearly one so some of you are wondering why i am in massachusetts right now why i'm in boston mainly because a lot of people don't know this well it's actually some of you might know this but i'm actually from boston i moved out to florida only two years ago so what made me move to florida two years ago uh, some would say it was this one. She used to live, she used to. She actually used to live in Boston as well. But her dad actually needed help with the dealer. Uh, the dealership we work at said, hey, I'm going to open up a dealership. Mind giving me a hand? I said, why not? Perfect excuse to live in the Sunshine State, right? So yeah, I used to live here. I usually come here every summer, um, at least once or twice, to visit my parents and my family and my friends, and just to have a good time over here. So if you don't know, now you know.
probably wondering, whose car is that? So, this car is owned by my dad. He, uh, here he is. He's over here. He's, he's very shy. Right. This is the owner of the Z06. Now, you're the future owner. <laughs> That's all you have to say, Dad? Yeah, it's your car in the future. I guess it's going to be my car, guys. If you love Corvette, and I think you love it. All right, so where do we leave off? So, yeah, as you guys know, my dad owns this beautiful machine. He, uh, he went through a lot to get this car, and I'll tell you guys in a minute why. But a little bit of background on my dad. My dad is from uh, Cape Verde. It's the uh, islands off the west coast of Africa. Came to America with uh, dreams of, of owning a Corvette one day. Uh, he came from Cape Verde back in 1990, I believe, with dreams of owning a Corvette one day. Three years later, in 1993, he was able to buy the 40th anniversary ZR1. This one right here. Had it for about six years until he sold it. Um, reason why he sold it was because like many of other people out there was growing his family, bought a house, had to let go of his dream car. So ever since then, my dad's always wanted another one. And when this one came out back in uh, 2014, I believe, with the Stingray, which is that one right there, um, he was in love with the new C7. Um, he absolutely knew he was definitely going to get this one, uh, no doubt about it. A year later passed by, and they announced the Z06 will be hitting the dealerships. He got even more excited, held held back on the Stingray to get the Z06. Um, this was back in 2015. So when this hit the dealership, um, of course, this is New England area. A lot of people in the New England area went crazy for this car when this car came out. It was upgraded from 475 to 650 horsepower. Uh, with 650 torque, seven-speed manual uh, was offered, um, and a bunch of options that you could choose from after that. Um, came with this big wing. It's obviously wider. Um, Brembo brakes. I think that came with the Stingray. I don't, I'm not too sure. Competition seats, which this was a huge upgrade. I don't know if you guys could see that. Let me open it real quick. Yeah, those seats alone are worth 10 grand. That was a 10 grand option. Of course, my dad got it in a manual. Um, so yeah, when this car came out, he was ecstatic. He wanted this car, no doubt about it. Went to the dealership, nobody had him at all. They were selling like hotcakes out there. I mean, you go to one and they were asking 15, 20 grand above retail. Um, my dad being detail oriented as he is, he, uh, he decided to go on the Chevy website and special order one himself with every option that he wanted. My dad waited until August to get the car, a solid nine months, mainly due to the fact that this car was on back order like crazy at Chevy. I mean, people ordering left and right. There was times where they would have to pull the wheels and tires off other 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 Corvettes just to give it to some people that ordered the cars. I mean, Chevy was having a hard time keeping up with the demand on this car. Seeing this car in person is one thing, but owning one, even though I don't own it, but my dad does, was a whole different thing. I, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's just me or I don't know if anybody else is like this too, but it's something when you actually own it and it's yours, it just looks a lot better. I mean, granted, this is a beautiful looking car and everything like that, but uh, it's just something about when you own something and you know it's yours, it just makes it 10 times better. So you guys seen that that glamour shot. Shout out to Will. Um, I wish I got him the video, but he just left. But um, <clears throat> so obviously this is the Z06. It's a step up from the Stingray, like I said earlier. 
So this was an upgraded option of this spoiler. Um, I'm not too sure how much that costs, but I know that was an option. That's uh, You can kind of tell the difference from between a Z06 and a Stingray by this spoiler, um, as well as it's, it is wider than the uh, regular Stingray. You can kind of see how like the, the cores push out a little bit. As you can tell, my dad drives it a whole bunch. Just kidding. But uh, these wheels are actually a smoke gray. Uh, that was another option you could choose. My dad also has the carbon fiber toggle top. There was another option you can choose like a clear, it's like a tinted clear toggle top or a painted carbon. That's a painted carbon. Or a painted uh, toggle top which matches your the color of your car. My dad chose the carbon fiber option. Uh, this is actually just a wrap. For this wrap alone, it was $500. He also chose the carbon fiber side skirts. Not too much, not too sure how much that cost. Painted carbon fiber mirrors, as well as a carbon fiber lip. There's a little bit more of an aggressive one, which comes up, let me see, right over here, it comes up like that, but my dad wasn't a big fan of that. He just kind of kind of liked the simple look of this uh, carbon fiber lip. All right, so there's a couple options that you can choose on the color and interior. There was black, there was red, there was this color, um, which is like this coffee, chocolate kind of interior. To me, I think this was the best color um, when I sat down with my dad and helped him kind of choose which options are the best. Um, what else, what else? These seats are $10,000 option seats, as I stated previously. Um, they're competition seats. Of course, my dad has it in the, uh, let's see, focus, focus, seven speed manual. This is the key for the car. Focus. Open up the trunk here. And that's the trunk. I don't know if some people may be interested what the trunk looks like of a vet, but this is where the target top um, actually sits. It's actually right here, clips in there and here, and you got your target top sitting in there. What I also thought was pretty neat about the Corvettes is how the trunk closes. You don't have to slam it. You can just push on it and it shuts by itself. That's about it guys. I think my dad chose as far as options go and what he thinks fit best for the car and stuff like that. All right guys, I just wanted to let you know where I'm at right now. Um, I didn't want to leave you guys a week without another video. I'm trying to be consistent here. I know a lot of people do have this car. This isn't the first video out there on YouTube. There's a bunch of other videos, but I thought it would be kind of interesting to some of my viewers uh, of where I'm at. Um, of the car, um, some people may or may not know some things about it, I don't know, kind of options there are, and there's a ton of options, like I said. And trust me, I drove this car before, and trust me, 650 horsepower and 650 torque manual, supercharged, feels absolutely amazing, it feels right, you're, you feel, I, don't, I can't really explain it, guys. It is definitely a beast, like my dad says. Um, I wish I can drive it right now, but it's raining outside. My dad, you know, is a typical Corvette owner. He doesn't really like driving in the rain, the snow, etc., etc. This thing is a, a garage queen. He wants to keep it pristine. I guess I get that from him a lot. I'm kind of the same way. Yeah, some people say if you truly love your car, you drive it. You don't, you know, let it sit in the garage. But there's others out there that just want to keep this thing as beautiful and pristine as they can. Um, there's actually more to it, but why my dad doesn't do that but uh, so like i said i just wanted to catch you guys up where i'm at I'm right now in boston back in my hometown aka in the areas of boston um came here to visit my family i usually come here once or twice a year in the summer to come and visit them and say hi to everybody uh so i just wanted to show you guys where i'm at in my dad's car i hope you guys appreciate the video and like i said if you like my videos and my vlogs, go hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Can't do that.
you can't, it's not that far ass. 